the smoke is filling. All right, the Pennzoil Ferrari against Rudy Hansen, that team. Hansen coming out of the gate. Man, that, that Ferrari barely fits to that start chicane. Here we go, into the paint. Federico Sharifo sticks a little higher than Rudy Hansen. Now he sticks it even higher. Bathing in the smoke is Rudy Hansen. Now coming into that first inside clip. Federico does take it out. And again, there's that small little decel area, but stands on. Oh, and Betty comes out of drift. Again, I want you to elaborate on this, Jacob. You know, we, we talk about what is an incomplete. You said one formula drift, two formula drift. Ah, ah, ah. I don't, uh, know uh, if we're count, I don't know if we're counting here or not, all joking aside. Uh, that seemed like it was a, a one formula drift. So it will be a deficit there a little bit for him, but walk us through it. Yeah, so Fede off the, off the cut here, doing a good job. Could be slightly higher up the bank. The judges really want them about that proximity there. Really, really rubbing it. Now, Rudy does get lost in the smoke here. Fede does punch that inner clip just a little bit, and then Rudy kind of gets lost in the sauce. And you can see there, Fede does get a little bit up onto the bank. They are allowed to go two wheels off up into that section, but not three wheels. So, wasn't too bad. I don't think that's going to fall under an incomplete uh, when it comes to Fede's run. Now, watching Rudy, we do have to watch what happens while he is chasing. It does look like he's struggling a little bit, trying to find the pocket, gets completely smoked out here, and then through transition, he is definitely behind the eight ball. We were watching some drivers almost utilize that small section of the bank to kind of get some more speed and shoot the car out. You can do it a little bit, but you have to be careful. That was pretty noticeable by Fede on that one. All right, that's that's interesting strategy uh, as far bold as- move, you, Yeah, bold move. You can dodge a, you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball, but uh, can you dodge a Ferrari? We'll see. <laughs> And, and speaking of that, yeah, absolutely. It seemed that Rudy was just bathing it. Bath and Body Works called. They just want those bath bombs back. And Rudy was just soaking it up. But Federico, again, some uh, some mistakes there. So uh, let's see if uh, Rudy Hansen can tighten up. Federico, he's going to really try to throw it down. Chasing down the S13 to Rudy Hansen. Here comes Rudy. Initiate a little bit of a gap there. Let's see if Fetty can wrangle him in. Rudy Hansen. Oh, look at Fetty. He's forward. I'd like to see him mimic that angle a little bit more now coming down. Rudy Hansen, good transition from him. You see Fetty diving to the inside, just barely tapping that front left headlight. One headlight, here we go. Now coming into that last outside zone. Federico, Rudy, look at I saw a little, was that a little finger waggle? I think, I think so, a little yeah. finger waggle? Yeah, what, maybe, which maybe finger the, was it? The Italian side, oh, yeah, <laughs> I think he was. I think he was inviting him over for pasta later. Yeah, biba da baba da. So, going on this one, um, there is, we do need to kind of compare some parts of this. Rudy does have a decent job there at initiation. Could have been a little bit deeper. Very similar first zone for both of them. The difference being that Fede has a lot more proximity. Coming through here, almost identical. Fede still keeping that proximity through transition. Rudy a little bit deeper there. Now Rudy does have a better second outside zone, at least in my opinion. And Fede though does have the proximity to keep up with it. So uh, chase wise, I would say Fede's got the advantage here. Lead-wise, it might go a bit back and forth. If Rudy does have a better lead, does he have so much of a better lead to make up for his lack of chase? Um, that's where it's going to come into. So we used to talk a lot more about lead versus lead chase. Yeah. And chase. Now it is more the impact total of both runs. So that's what it's going to come down to. It was was the, the mistakes that were made by Fede, were they bad enough to overcome the mistakes that were you know, coming from yeah, the and, and and also what we also talk about here is no one more times in seating brackets. Nope. So and and, the, and I, I I love this because you gotta you really gotta rack your brain here. I'm talk, we're talking about the judge, not us. But look at that, Rudy Hansen gets the victory over Federico Sharifo, and it is unanimous. Brazil versus Canada. <laughs> you know? Here we go. Monster Energy Corvette initiates a big nasty swing there at those. Yeah, he's gonna keep his composure here. He knows that Joao. Could maybe throw down, but he also wants to kind of dial it in. Look at him just tucking right outside of the smoke, keeping good proximity. Could be a little more mimicking of that angle there. But look at the angle from Joao Barry on. I mean, Joao, you know, we're kind of focused on Adam LZ. Obviously, he's just got a, a ravenous following. So does Brazil. Between Diego Higa and Joao Barry on, uh, Brazil shows up in a grand way. But what are your thoughts? Yeah, Joao had a, a really, really high level lead run there. Now, Adam, as you said, could have angled in a little bit more. Does start to dial the box. So he does a pretty good job of mirroring it through here. And then as we transition out, gets caught up a little bit in the smoke, but not too, too crazy. And then you can see there, Joao is just set. There's very, very few 
corrections or changes in the, in the attitude of the car. Very, very small one there uh, near the end of it. But other than that, really has everything kind of dialed in. Uh, Adam, I would say, could have been more aggressive, could have been on the door a bit more. Uh, like I said, Joao has a couple of corrections there near the end, but nothing massive. So it's really going to come down to this battle. Adam's got to throw down and basically put down a, an almost perfect lead run, and Joao's got to make a mistake. You know, I was I was really fixated on, on Adam LZ's chase run because we just going off of seeing Rudy Hansen just being buried in that smoke. I think that was a good approach for Adam LZ, but like you said, lacking that kind of aggressiveness, that's gonna be the X factor to really solidify the win and not leave in the judges' hands. So I'm I'm expecting a big initiation here from Adam LZ. He's never drifted this far on this course, but he's very familiar. And Joao Barion sticks it to the door. Has to back off a little bit here, but Adam LZ stays in it. Massive angle there. And you can see him coming down, slam. Oh, and Joao shuts it down. Joao shuts it down off the bank. And Adam LZ continues on. Again, all the LZ fans are going to go nuts. Again, a controversial call there in Atlanta. Got to pick that scab there. But it, don't know exactly. Again, I was focusing on Adam looking with my naked eye coming down. Let's run that back, Jacob, and see where he was getting it. Yeah, I mean, the initiation from both drivers was phenomenal, so I'm, I'm excited to see it again. We get some backfires from both cars there, so Adam, really good job. Wow, just tucks it in there. Not able to get back on the throttle in time to really hold where he needs to be. Adam starts to run it out, and then it's got to be something mechanical coming yeah. from Joao. It just looks like the car shuts off, so, I mean, I think Adam got away with a, a little bit of uh, luck on that one. Yeah, he got he was real lucky yeah. there. Oh, man. Did Wait, he bang his door? I think he might have. Yeah, a little, little kiss from Brazil at that point. So, <laughs> yeah, ah, man, that could have been that could have been really tough for Adam there. If Joao was able to keep that proximity all the way around, that would have been a tough one. But big smiles. I mean, look, at, look he's still happy. He's happy to be here. He knows the progression he's made in this car. Where does he keep that hat? <laughs> there he is. Still got a smile on his face. Joao Barillon, and, uh, you know, unofficially, that will be the end. Man, just like that, one and done. Yeah. And Adam LZ is going to get the victory, and it is unanimous. Adam LZ advances on, and uh, that locks him in for tomorrow's back crusher. Here he is in pro, the trip wizard. See what kind of magic he's got for us up his sleeve. Here's a big angle there from Andy Haley. Mike Power down on the bank. He's got maybe a little gun shot here. He takes out that inside clip now coming down the bank. Andy Haley dialed in right now. Look at that. I mean, the car is just on rail. And Mike Power slowly gaining that proximity there. But again, on initiation, you saw him about halfway up that bank as Andy Haley was not all the way riding the wall dragon bumper, but was definitely flirting with it. Yeah, there's going to be some hesitancy in your driving after taking a car off the frame rack. And I think that's what we saw with Mike Power there. Just a little hesitant to get the car up in the pocket, up against the wall. Maybe some flashbacks from Long Beach coming back to him. So now we start to see Andy Haley, though, out front just absolutely crushing. I mean, the amount of smoke that he's pouring off the back of the car, how stable the car is. I mean, you do see some inputs here and there. But realistically, for a rookie driver, great, a great lead run here in Orlando. Yeah, and he's, he's just telling a great story as far as, you know, we saw him the, the early years of Formula Drift over 20 years ago, right? Or 20 years ago. And then and then just now, and then coming back, pro spec, you know, kind of humble himself. And now here he is. He's just making a great name for himself, and he's doing it his way. And and that's, that's the Drift Wizard way, dude. Some sort of crystal balls and balls. It's weird, but he read the tone on his head. Mike Power looking forward to him. Light up those tires. That's slide. Mike Power. Light up those tires out back. There he is. Oh, Andy Haley. So look at that. Might have been a little gift there that Mike Power got as he comes down, down into the bank. Haley, he's all in the smoke. Whoa! Oh, Haley almost gets him inside of Mike Power. And there you see Mike Power. Now he is dialed in. He is right there in that pocket, right in the crease. Lick the stamp and send it. Mike Power, that Type S S15. So almost like a roll reversal there where Andy led and Mike led, but the chase car in both situations were down on the bank a little bit. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, I think what this is going to come down to is Mike Power's initiation. Uh, not too bad, but not super high on the bank. Then pushes it up. Andy hesitates. He hesitates really, really badly, and that's what causes the issue. Now he's playing catch up for the rest of the run. Mike kind of center punches that. Andy then cuts the corner, which is something the, driver, the judges don't want. And then from there, he's trying to just basically push the car through, get back in the pocket, and you can see a lot of wavering there. So I do believe the judges are going to be asking for a one more time there. Uh, or no, sorry, not a one more time, uh, uh, to look at this yeah. one more time, get the side-by-side -side going. and Review it. Yeah, yeah.
it's a little tough. I mean, we don't want to make a decision based on who didn't screw up more, but right. this is the situation we're in right now. So they're going to take a look at both runs and understand, okay, how many mistakes were made? Where were the mistakes made? How big of mistakes? Uh, and in what section? So, yep. uh, I mean, in my mind, Andy makes a mistake at initiation. So did Mike. Then in transition, arguably, Andy might have had a bigger mistake through that section. So let's let's let the fans be the verdict here. So you you guys decide down there. You can see Mike, high, good angle from him. I mean, it's literally almost tip for tap. Mike is a little lower, but like you said, that failure to launch from Haley. Mike wasn't as late. Haley had a big mistake there. Yeah. And look at, I mean, Power has crazy angle. He's right in that crease. I don't I don't think he, as you mentioned earlier, some drivers utilizing that bank to kind of shoot forward. I don't think that was the case there for Mike Power. I think that was that was a really good look at Andy. Yeah. See, look, don't he's he's got that wizardry power, dude. You just want to wait back all of a sudden. All right, here we go. Results, line up left for Haley, right for Mike Power. One vote for Haley, two votes for Haley. And then, you know, Forsberg's been done, he's been done doing that since day one. He needs yeah, on a Nissan. So, yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Ryan Literal out front, the Sunoco S15 initiates. And here we go, Kyle Mohan chasing him down. He's down on that bank. Looks like he blends right in. He's camouflaged to the wall. But Ryan Literal comes down now into that front clip. He takes it out. A lot of those guys navigated, taking him out. You see Kyle Mohan. Not as much angle, he needs to get that proximity, literal. Finds that sweet spot, good angle from him. You know, nothing just crazy out of the box, but just good, straight forward. He did center punch, or not center punch, but took out that inside clip coming off the bank. Yeah, literal's run here is nice and smooth, nice and consistent, which is what we want. And it looked like Kyle needed to get on power a little bit more. It, it, you can see how long it took for those tires to light up and then get back into the pocket. Little has a nice left foot break there to get the car settled coming off the bank, which can be risky. It's a great way to bend a tie rod by doing that. But then through the rest of these zones, I mean, this this is a really solid run by Literal. It's, as you said, not crazy flashy. He doesn't do anything ridiculous, but he puts it together a very solid run. And that's almost like no news is good news, where it's just a good, straightforward, good clean run. Car looks good, it looks settled, not not wavering, you know, and as we're getting overhead overhead with Kyle, yeah. see him kind of lunging back and forth, but Ryan keeps it rock solid. Kyle Edge is in there. You can see, you can see Ryan working the wheel a little bit. It's not major corrections, like you said, input-wise. You'll notice too the drivers are shutting it down right at the line on that first run because there is no tread to be spared on this right. track tonight. Yep, yeah, yeah, we talked about just the porousness, the, the aggressiveness, the, the grit. We talk about that in Seattle and here. And, uh, I'd say Irwindale's probably the smoothest out of all the bank ones. Here we go, Kyle Mohan initiate. And look at that, Ryan Literal. Gets good proximity there, but he has to back off. There we go. Now he's playing into that green wall. The big green monster now coming into that second inside clip. You guys are absolutely obliterating him. Taking him out like the pinatas. Now into that crease goes Kyle Mohan. Does exceed it just a little bit there towards the end, but that won't hurt him too much. But again, these guys, you know, got a little loosey goosey there on that second run. Yeah, so let's check out the initiation there from Kyle Mohan. You see he's on left foot brake right through, but it does take him a while to get the back end of the car settled in there. And it kind of throws it in near the end, which does throw Ryan Literal for a bit of a loop. He does shoot through this section here. Kyle's kind of been struggling with keeping the throttle consistent through that transition zone. And with the, the rotary, it's, if you come off throttle, it does take a bit to get back into where it makes power. So this initiation here, so he gets on it, then left foot brakes, then gets on power, now is throwing angle in. So it really takes Kyle about half of the bank before he's really got things dialed in, which, which you know, it sucks, because the rest of the run does start to come together. We do see some more corrections here, and I think the, the chase that we see out of Ryan literal more or less comes from the fact that he wasn't able to get things settled because Kyle wasn't getting things settled in front of him. So Ryan could have been a bit more aggressive with it, but it looks like he was just kind of chasing back and forth. And really, the, the BC Racing side-by-side -side is going to show us. Yeah, all right, so there you go. See, Ryan literal initiate. Like I said, just good, straightforward run. And, and watch Mohan on the right. It's that little, like, yeah, that little, like, into the wall a little bit and then shoots back out. He's not supposed to be deselling in that area yet. You can a little bit further down, but... Yeah, and I mean, the second outside zone was really tough for Ryan literal, but... 
it's it's gonna what it's gonna come down to is what what mistake was bigger what is gonna overcome that and and that's what's gonna basically set the judges up yep. for their decisions so. and the pressure mounts again it, it does bear repeating no one more times in seating bracket so a lot of pressure leaning on uh, by the way our judges here we got Vernon Brian Egger and Robin Ishida Reese Marin is sitting out on this one let's take a look who gets the win is it Ryan Literal or Mohan it looks like Ryan Literal gets the win and is Sunoco Wonky, but Shanahan has no problem adapting to this. Ben Hobson high on the bank. Shanahan tucks in with that Red Bull BMW E36. Again, coming from Ireland now, coming in through the smoke. Ben Hobson finds a sweet spot there. You can see him locking up that front left. Oh, he gets into the bank quite a bit. All right, so I want to run it back. Yeah. That seemed a little, little, little interesting there on that initiation. What are your thoughts? It almost looks like Ben thought he was going to hit Connor and then kind of has to start his initiation again a bit later. Here's the thing. If you think you're going to hit that chase driver, just hit that chase driver because they're impeding at that point. Yeah. I know that's controversial, but no, not at all. really that's what, what needs to happen. That section of the run, pretty good by Ben, does push up pretty wide there and we see it. Now, Connor in the chase could have been a lot closer, but I, I Knowing the, the driving smarts and prowess that Connor's got, I think he went like, what's going on with him here? I don't want to get in too deep. Ben has to initiate by that last cone, does get it in just in the nick of time. Connor here doing what is a very European driving style where they kind of nose in, get the proximity, then get the tail to slide back into place. So very, very, uh, I don't want to say Irish, but it, it kind of is. Uh, and that, that technique almost brought to life by James Dean years and years ago and it's it's interesting to see how it's trickled down and you mentioned that I think Shanahan maybe exaggerated what Ben was doing and that's why I got thrown off looking at it again it, oh, and that overhead the truth serum camera see yeah that overhead it didn't look as wonky as I initially anticipated and maybe like I said Shanahan kind of exaggerated that with his failures to kind of initiate so here we go Shanahan up front Ben Hobson initiation wow pulling that front right off the ground is Shanahan the Irish driver Hobson he knows what's at stake here love to do right here at round three and Hobson spins Hobson way off course that is not how to get it done and Shanahan will continue on and he's going to get the victory a big mistake for Ben Hobson Man. and just Hobson has gotten such difficult draws this entire season on his maiden voyage like you said rook going for rookie of the year alongside this Irish driver I know he's gonna have a smile but this has got to be frustrating Jacob yeah the speed that Shanahan's able to get off the line Ben has to initiate late again Connor left foot breaking all the way around as we said first time on a bank does not look like it and right here Ben I don't know if he comes off throttle, if he missed times that he gets lost in the smoke or what happened, but he missed his exit, got off weight. I mean, just just got off at the at the wrong point there. And Connor out front, able to continue on. I don't have high hopes for Ben winning this one. No, that's that's, that's rough, man. That's rough. I mean, I'm not sure. It's it's he comes from out of the S chassis, you know, from the Bakshi's camp, in a very very. Uh, predictable car that wasn't as aggressive now into a car that is incredibly aggressive but not as predictable yep and there it is unfortunately for her just yet because he had a bye run and now he initiates into the bank Rutsky goes high Hanson goes even a little bit higher but look at the composure on these guys big angle Hanson comes out of it Hanson looks like he almost checked up there Brutsky was he slowing down was Hanson thrown off we're gonna need to run that back but Brutsky consistent with the angle and rips all the way through the sweeping turn. Again, did, did Brutsky check him up? I don't think so. He might have been slowing down, but Hanson a good proximity. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously the replay is going to let us know here. So Dmitry Brutsky off the line. You know, good initiation, nothing too crazy, not a big swing. I like how Rudy gets back there, doesn't push through the proximity yet. Now, that looked like completely separate. At least, at least from my perspective, I didn't see Bruce doing anything that was wonky that would cause Hanson to do that. It just kind of looked like it, it gripped up. Maybe he clutched in when he didn't need to, but it was. It was weird. It was awkward. Might have been a little disruption. Watch Brutsky. You saw a little correction there, but Hanson was off him enough where it wouldn't, like, be an issue. So see him tapping the brakes right about... Now the, uh, the, over, the overhead was more indicative of it. Yeah. Uh, I see what you mean. There was a small correction but, on the front wheels on Brutsky. I don't think it was enough. I don't think that was enough to throw Hanson off, unless he's really fixated on the wheels. Like, oh, he's going down. Like, 
What I did like, though, is that Rudy decided to pick line and angle over proximity. I know yes. you're like, oh, proximity over everything. But honestly, it looked really good. Yeah. He might yeah. not have been on his door, but kind of sitting there running in parallel behind him puts you in a good spot as long as you can stay out of the smoke. I, agree. I totally agree with that, man. And that, that doesn't get brought up enough because, you know, we, we've had different points of interest over the years. You know, we had the one year of proximity, that yeah. Daigo one, right? He just nose in, but I, I like the mimicking of the angle and just give yourself a little bit of distance there. And Rudy Hansen now initiates up front. Brutsky, so that's what you're talking about right there. So that's that, he's, he's, he, Brutsky is more about that proximity as opposed to mimicking that angle, but now he dives into the inside. Good execution there by Brutsky, but that's exactly two very different schools of thought here on this second run here from Whoa! Rutsky, that was a big correction there. And that was before the finish line, so that will be a point of focus there between Brutsky and Hansen. Yeah, I'm almost wondering if he just completely ran out of tire at that point, but let's take a look here. Initiation from Rudy Hansen. Would like to see him all the way up on the wall, and this is what we were talking about. Uh, Brutsky not mirroring the line and angle, trying to push in for that proximity. Transitions a little bit before Rudy. Now as we come to this section, same thing. Rudy pushing offline pretty heavily, tucks back in the line, and right here. And yeah, I mean, he, he could have, sorry, Brutsky, I, I just settle once, right there. Yeah. How, about set, how about settle right before the finish line? I know you're trying to go for it, but everybody's locked and loaded. But it seemed that Brutsky might have gotten a little too aggressive right before he, if he backed off just a, a scope, it would have been would have been clean. But I think Brutsky's at fault here. Yeah, and this is where we come into some of these rule changes where the idea behind eliminating a lot of the incompletes is a situation like this where Brutsky really had a, a, a pretty good run, both in the lead and the chase there, and one small mistake at the end does that constitute him completely losing that battle. Slide of left for Brutsky, and look at this. So, contrary to what we were thinking, Brutsky gets the lead rights. Who's going against Brutsky in the four? I know Adam LZ would love to, but Haley, look at this. Possessed right now, locked and loaded. Look at that. On rails. Looking like he's a slot car out here. Oh, what that front right. Something's going on with that front right. It looked like, a, again, a little gangster lean out there. Saw something fly up there. Pretty oh, I'm reading the weather the inside clip. My bad. All right, so taking out that inside clip. In the smoke, could not see that. Looked like it was a fender, but it was that first inside clip. Let's take a look at it again. Yeah, uh, I mean, the speed that's coming out of uh, out of the Drift Wizard right now is really impressive. I mean, yep. Adam's doing a good job to keep up here. I am curious if he's going to have enough tire left under uh, Andy Haley's car. Fine. I think that's what you saw there, him taking yep. a cone for a bit of a ride. And then, I mean, Adam just got lost in the smoke there. He really did. I mean, there was a couple of, yeah, couple of spots in the lead there from uh, from the Drift Wizard that, that could have been a bit better. We do see some hesitation, some corrections from Andy Haley, but Adam in the chase, I mean, kind of get, get, gets gapped in the beginning, which is very rare, and then gets lost in the smoke to this section. Andy really holds that car for a long time through that transition, and then right here, absolutely bathed. So, Andy in the lead, bunch of corrections. Adam in the chase, lost in the smoke. I mean, if I could summarize. He's a soaker, he's a smoker soaker. <laughs> Just soaking in smoke. Soaking in smoke. <laughs> like brisket. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you got me. Uh, yeah. You, you had me up my, brisket. You spoke to my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to barbecue or lose me forever, you big stud. Oh, Ain't that movie. I don't know that one, but I feel like I know I'm Brian. Sure. I know Brian does. <laughs> Eggert down there. All right, so yeah, some wavering there from the uh, the smoker soaker there, Adam LZ just again <laughs> bathing in it. And now here we go. And, and like he's just some wavering there in that chase position by Adam LZ, but watching this, I think he's gonna throw down a heater of a run. Big angle there. He flips it in, Adam LZ. Andy Haley down to the bank, does that proximity, Adam LZ high. Now coming down into that inside clip. Boom. Both are passing it. Wow, I, I think that's all oh, Haley gets lost. Again, bathing in that smoke. Bath and smoke works. Into that final sweeper, the Drift Wizard popping out. <laughs> wow. All right, so let's take a look at it. It's, uh, yeah, wow. I mean, Adam lights off the tire super early, gets the car going, big left foot brake there. Andy now able to get things into the pocket. Doesn't get the actual angle match that we'd like to see. Adam just absolutely destroying what's left of the tires and then through there. Andy just kind of gets lost, transitions early, very similar to what happens in Bent with Ben. 
it's so tough through that transition. We, we spoke to Chelsea about it before that like that transition point is absolutely make or break. And if you get lost even for a second, that's it. I mean, you're basically home alone at that point. You're no Kevin. idea where anything is. Kevin, 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 Kevin. Every time. Kevin. No, it's it's tough. That's all that happens there. And he thinks that he is further down the track than he should be, and he's not, and goes to transition, and next thing you know, he's in the wrong area code. But but contrary to pop relief, he does have tires in different area codes. Ah. I was I wasn't gonna say the, the quote. Here That's we go. Awesome. Haley or Adam LZ. It looks like Adam LZ gets the victory and advances on. So good to follow him around the country. <laughs> His car runs. <laughs> Here we go. Ryan Literal out front of Sunoco. Sim Magic. S15. He initiates the mats lower and slower on that bank as Literal going for it. This is good practice for him right now. He's got the clean air. Mads, he's getting a little fire in that chase position, but he's going to need to tighten it up if he wants to get move on. And there we go. Literal crossing the finish line. Big advantage there for Literal yeah. on that run. The drone and actually multiple camera angles, and I, I want you to watch this when we when we get a chance to see Ryan Literal, because he is so calm behind the wheel. It's so great to see. Amazing initiation there from Ryan Literal. Could have pushed onto the bank a little bit more. Does here. Dimas in the chase, struggling. Not able to put the power down. Either has the car gripped up too much. We're not making enough power at this point in time. But Ryan Literal, just textbook there. Does push a bit wide to that first section as we talked about. The, the driver's kind of using it as a bit of a starting ramp, pushing the rear end up to shoot the car forward. But yeah, Ryan Literal, I mean, nice swing on that entry. I think I think he can whip it a little bit harder. I mean, the, the Ryan Literal I know that gets a little bit more aggressive. You can see a huge swing out, but he's he's learning that he's he's got to you know play the game a little bit, yeah. right? You want to throw a ton of angle. You want to be super stylish. You also want to win. So you gotta, you know, you gotta find that balance, and I really think Ryan Literal is, is kind of coming into his own. Well, he, he, it's just trust issues, you know. He's had some gremlins that have popped up and just wreaked havoc. They're eating after midnight, getting wet, and then yeah. they're just they're growing. The and now it's finally seems seems like he's exercised the demons, and uh, he's figured it all out there with with the collab guys from Georgia. So here we go. Let's see him out front. D Mads, Derek Madison. You know, if I'm Literal, and you know, I'm I'm Literal spotter, I'd say, hey man. Tip tiptoe because yeah. look at it, there it is. You see him really right that left foot break there. That's, that's a hard act to follow there. Oh, buddy. Ooh. And see, look at that. And that's exactly now, that. That could have been way worse. Both of them shut down almost simultaneously. So, yeah, we need to figure out what happened with Madison and what happened with uh, with Ryan Literal. So the plot's gonna thicken here. Now, if they both incompleted at the same time for independent reasons, we are going to flip back to the other run. But Literal definitely struggling to get the car going, trying to reinitiate over and over again. And then right here, Derek just shuts it down. So it almost seems like we had two independent, two independent zeros or incompletes at this point in time for two completely separate reasons. That's how I'm interpreting this right now. But the, the, fortunately, there was no contact. And like you said, right. they're, they're both of them, not the prettiest. You know, Dean outs no. right in that left foot break, and then he just dives in, watches his grip up, rep, and literal. fortunately, fortunately, he was back and was having issues. Because if he's on his door, that would have been bang, he would have taken off his nose. Yeah, and I mean, it looked like literal was trying to initiate over and over and over again yeah. to get the car back in the angle, which is, is very curious. But then Derek, coming off the bank, just it looked like the car did not want to transition back out and just straightens out. So in my mind, that looks like two separate um, zeros or incompletes at that point in time. So it's going to push it back to the first run. So um, that is what I believe the judges are looking at now is, yeah. OK, we have two separate incompletes for two completely different reasons. All the data that we have goes back to the first run at that point. Right? Yeah, yeah just, just looking at that, I mean, yeah, I, I was recounting the run one, and, and I, I, per, I think I have the right decision, or I, I think I know who I would choose. Um, and there we go. So slide him left for Ryan Literal. One, two, and three. Ryan Literal. Shanahan, that BMW. Watch this. Diego Higa. We talked about how possessed he is. That Brazilian beast. Wow, look at him just shimming his way around oh, there, but man. great proximity. Connor Shanahan, you can just you see how settled he is. And that car, look at, I mean, the posture of that car. You got to think, this is Rome's old car. We know it's proven, but Diego Higa, right there, right next to him. Brazil for 
versus Ireland. It's an international affair. We're not too far from Epcot Center. We got all the countries here. My cheeks hurt from smiling on that run. That was great. Oh man! All right. I was pitching him the whole time. I know. It's, uh, so uh, this is this is why I love drifting and stuff like this. So Connor Shanahan, phenomenal lead out front. Do everything left foot breaking. Just the shimmy. I would like to see that cleaned up a little bit, but it just shows you how Higa is trying to figure out how do I battle this Irishman? How do I get into the pocket? How do I match this? And right here, dives in, starts pushing even more. Oh man, those uh, that last half of the second outside zone is just beautiful. This is what gets me excited about drifting. These are the kind of clips that I show my grandmother to be like, this is where I was this weekend. <laughs> Grandma. This is what I was watching. Mom, Milo. Yeah. Look Mom, what's she doing back there? I never know what she's doing back there. I should never know. Man, th just watching Ego fighting to figure out how he attacks. Connor Shanahan was so cool. And then right here, finally figures out a little bit too little, too late. But that aggressiveness and how smart he was to place the car like that just shows like he's there our boys growing up in, right before our eyes jared right oh dude. Our baby boy our baby boy yeah so we're gonna swap him around he get in the lead connor shanahan chasing i expect this to be just more of the same which i'm okay with all right well let's see uh you know he got out front the brazilian beast against shanahan let's see what we got he got Across the nose of the BMW, Higa initiates, not as high, but Shanahan right there, he says, all right, I'll go down there, no big deal. Diego does work it up eventually up top. Now go past that inside clip, Shanahan comes at an angle though, does have good proximity, tucked into the pocket. Diego, Higa, Shanahan knocking on his door. All right, well, the garageistic Red Bull BMW, Shanahan, he's back for it, man. He's out for blood. You can't tell me Connor Shanahan isn't having a blast right now. Oh, yeah. Man, I, I wish I could see his face right now, but let's take a look. Diego Kiga initiates, does not get it up to the wall, but Connor Shanahan makes the perfect correction to get back in the pocket and, and actually go a little bit deeper than Kiga does without exceeding him. And then through the transition, great job in there. Kiga, same thing, uses that uses the banking to kind of push himself a bit more forward would like to see a bit more angle and then connor shanahan just a, a little stamp right at the end right uh -huh. just, i'm just gonna push in right at the right at the end there just to let you know so wow man this is why i love drifting this is this is great man and this is just uh this is what i love about this track is you can see all the little nuances you know you can not mask or hide the mistakes in atlanta but you're just all out. This is a little more technical than Atlanta. So here we go. Slide him left for the Irish Shanahan or right for Diego Higa. And Shanahan gets the win. He Look at that. Coming down, initiating. Let's see what Adam Ozzy's got for Brutsky. Brutsky, it's a little bit of wavering there. He is high on the bank. Adam LZ, he's dialing it in. You can see him working the wheel. Look at his laser focus speaking of laser the heat wave lasers on his face maybe underneath that skid lid now coming into that last sleeper adam lc surging forward he might rub his door Woo -hoo -hoo -wee, rick <laughs> Hoo -wee, rick <laughs> oh i don't know rick <laughs> look, look look at my hands morty can't, i can't do this center anymore all right <laughs> all right <laughs> back to work uh dimitri Brutsky out front there as we Take a look at our drone angle here. I mean, that's how fast they're going. The drone could barely keep up. But look at Adam LZ in the chase. I mean, same thing, just worming through there, trying to find the right spot in the pocket. It's very difficult to stay consistent when you're in that much smoke. And then as he comes through this section as well, you can see that cabin completely filled up. Dmitry Brutsky does pull a bit of angle here at the end, maybe trying to push away a little bit, understanding that Adam LZ is basically on his door through that whole section and going like, okay, Got it. Got to push back a little bit. Try and like produce a bit of a gap. The last impression, right? The last part of the outside zone. Some decisions could be made there. So I do think Dimitri tried to straighten just a bit to push a bit wide. But Adam, I mean, Adam knows what's up. He knows this track. He knows Dimitri. I, I believe they would have driven together at some point back in Pro 2. So yeah, at least for one season. I have to I have to check my my date lines there, but I, w I believe they would have driven together at some point in time yeah. back in Pro 2. Yep, yep, Pro 2, Pro Spec might have yep. been uh, the when he got Rookie of the Year in Pro Spec. It was probably COVID years. It might be, yeah. Here we go, Adam LZ out front. 
Whoop, we got it. Ooh. Shelly to the raid breaks out? That's dope. That was really cool. It would be cool if uh, this, like, laser shot off at the same time. Do, 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 yeah. do. <laughs> Drift HQ, BC Racing, you can see that. We got street tires on the corners, got a little cone hit. Matt Sopa down there on the line. Got the boys, thanks to the staff and the crew. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for, thanks for uh, heading up here, New, a newcomer up. Not a newcomer to being up here in the box. Yeah. Hung, hung up as judging, his judging role and uh, is now, what's the actual title? Race Control. Race Control. Yeah, he was on uh, the Editor's Own podcast the other day. It was a great show. Oh. It was, it was one, of my, one of my favorite episodes. I had him on. And we you don't have to say that because he's right here. You sure? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't your favorite. <laughs> All right, here we go. Adam LZ will do the restart here. And Dimitri Brutsky in the chase position. Here goes Adam LZ. No cone hit in the making of this run. Initiating into the bank. Aggressive flick by Adam LZ. Settle. Set it and forget it by Adam LZ. Nice job there on initiation. Very fluid. Brutsky. He's all the smoke. Woo! Good transition. Brutsky cracking a smile with his front bumper. Now into the crease. Adam, dude, Adam is on one right now. So that, it looked like an RC car. Yeah, that was very consistent. It was like that the car was, was on so a gimbal, sick. man. Yeah, I, I love I love what Adam is now doing out in the lead here. I mean, especially considering this is his second run, so the tires are not at the, the full performance at this point. They've already gone through a chase, but look at this. Take a look at his front wheel. That's going to be the indication of what kind of input's going on. So we do see the left foot break there. But watch, through the transition, I mean, Rutsky gets a little bit aggressive there. Now take a look from this drone angle. Look at Adam's front tire. Almost no change. You can see a small waver there. That is it. Wow. Yeah, I mean, if Adam continues to drive like this for the rest of the round, this is going to be a problem for a lot of drivers. <laughs> that consistency is crazy. Well, like you said, he, he knows his track very well, essentially his home track outside of his LZ compound, but first time with this car on this track. So this formula could equate to some success. You know, yeah. he's, he's in the show tomorrow. So is Brutsky. Um, yeah, interesting. You know, Brutsky's home track is E-Town. Right. So that's our next round, and he's had some su success with the uh, E-Town Gambler. And there's Adam LZ getting the win. He's good car. I'm joking. His brother, <laughs> his brother. Is his brother spotting remotely? He could be. I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah. He's got a cell phone in his pocket and an earbud in, and he's right. just like, okay, this well, is what you need to do. Well, I was going to make the joke. It's an E36, which they had car phones, so I feel like he might have oh. a car phone the E36. <laughs> right? He's calling him right now. It's got the antenna. Here we go. Shanahan moving on. Look at that. Woo. Got those back doors on it. Yo, Justin Smash with the shot. Smash it into Shanahan. Oh, smash ahead. Smash your hand. Go <laughs> smash your hand. Oh, this is how nicknames are born. Yeah. Connor Shanahan. But look at Shanahan. Talk about consistency in the front wheel, too. Like, you wee Smoke-filled donut. Go throw on some new Vitors and get back here, because we need you for our seating bracket finals. Brought to you by k &N. Man. I know this is just a fun run. It's runs like this that kind of make me miss qualifying a little bit. Yeah. It's like seeing stuff like this is crazy. Look, he's just dragging absolutely along the wall there. And then, you know, through the rest of this zone, I mean, he does make a correction if I got to critique a fun run. This is what we were talking about. It's a good angle to show you how they're kind of utilizing the bank here. But look at that front wheel. Man. Did you say Funyuns? Funyuns? I haven't had Funyuns forever. Too. We could change oh, that. Oh, you said Fun Run. Fun Run. I've had Funyuns, Scott. I'm bringing you Funyuns tomorrow. <laughs> they, you don't have those in Canada, do you? No, we don't. Yeah. So it's a, such a weird chip. I know. Funyuns. Didn't Munchos? No. It's, yeah. You can't get Bugles in Canada either, though. We used to be able to. I mean, I miss making Witch Fingers. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're on a chip, we're on a chip uh, podcast over here. Oh, man. Welcome to the Outer Chip. This where is we talk about all the chip snacks. Yeah, this is this is I'm how snacks get guy. brought to us at the track. I'm not a chip guy. No? No. No. Crisp guy. We we had Connor. Show. LZ, these are the finals. KN seeding finals. Woo! Coming back. Welcome back. Shanahan and Adam LZ. This might be the last round of FD in pro this year. This year. Shanahan initiates. Oh, we have to back off for a little bit. Comes Adam Angle. But Adam LZ, he's got something to prove. He'd love to take down Shanahan. You know, these guys have seen. Drift Masters are going to be uh, at Drift Masters later on this year, so it's great to see them here at Formula Drift. Adam LZ right there on the door. Woo -wee! What's blue and BMW and Smokey all over right now? It's here at OSW. Shanahan and LZ.
This is what nothing to lose drifting looks like. Right. This is just bragging rights. Both drivers absolutely crushing it. A very rare mistake there from Connor Shannon. Just a small one. And then Adam LZ capitalizes on it, realizes that he's able to tuck in a little bit more. Through this transition, Connor, very smooth. Adam darts right in. Now we get into this outside zone, and this is just perfection. Dang. He gave him a love little boop. He gave him a little boop to Snoo. Love it. Absolutely love it. This, man, we're, we're talking about two very similar chassis. I mean, there may be differences in suspension and everything else, but dynamically, they're going to operate very much the same on the same set of tires, different power plants, but, you know, similar power levels. This is this is great. Man. Yep. Uh, two buddies going. Just banging doors. Going. Yep. Gave a little darnage, a little door carnage. Now the question is, in Connor Shanahan's mind, what does he do? Does he look at that and go, oh, I can do that too? I, I, <laughs> I feel like Adam just, Adam's going to throw down, a, I mean, we just saw how locked and loaded he was in on that first run, on that or, excuse me, on the previous battle, excuse yeah. me. But I think Adam, Shanahan's got to bring it. Yeah, he's got to bring it. He's really, because Adam's going to put down a seriously hell of a run right now. Watch Adam LZ. I think he's just gonna he's gonna initiate super aggressive and be high on the wall and just not even waver. That's what I'm expecting here. Shanahan tip to tail. Oh, oh, oh. Adam LZ does come out a little bit, but then Adam now brings it up. And Shanahan, there's that proximity. There's Shanahan, so he's he's not letting him get away at all. Oh, and look at that time. proximity. He's not in the smoke. You can see it. Oh, look at this. And here goes Adam LZ in that last outside sweeper, tucking in. And look at Shanahan. Now he brings it oh, back. Oh, man. Yo. Let's go. What a way to start round three of the Formula Drip Pro Championship. And this is just seeding brackets. Ah, oh, this, ah, oh, this is what I signed up for. This is, this is it, man. Look it. You called it. Great initiation there from Adam. Connor dives in, gives him a little door tap, a little kiss to start the run. Adam just flawless through that first outside zone. Car is so settled. Steering wheel doesn't even move. Amazing transition from Connor Shanahan. Now starts to worm his way in and right here returns Woo! the favor. Look at that. Three, four, five. I don't care how many times. <laughs> oh my God. It was like almost like, all right, you got me, I got you. And that was I mean, that was sick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring back Qualify. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> nope. yeah. Good yeah, luck, that, boys. That, 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 we're happy, you know, we always, we've always, no matter where we're at, and the judges and staff, and we're all together, we talk about just refining the sport and qualifying and trying to remove it again and just, just show and competition and flow. And I think, I think obviously seating brackets <laughs> are a great addition to Formula Drift. Again, just without the single runs, now just doing all, you know, ideally head to head battles. I think this is a great formula for competition. So, as we bring in Dmitry Brutsky, you know. Look at look at the smiles on these drivers though. I mean, they're they're absolutely right. pumped. They're so happy. They're so stoked. This is drifting. This yep. is it. This is this is drifting? This is drifting! Alright, this is Formula Drift, baby. Make some noise. Alright, all BMWs. Alright. All right, so let's give you a third place and then we'll give you the winner. Third place, seating brackets. Make some noise for Dimitri Brutsky. All right, and now your winner here, k and seating brackets. Again, all BMW as we are gonna find out, this is for bragging rights. In a BMW E36, it's also blue. The winner unanimously is Connor Shanahan. Connor Shanahan gets the win. Adam LZ gets second and Dimitri Brutsky gets third. Congratulations, welcome back Shanahan. Look at Adam LZ. Connor, welcome back. Adam LZ, great job out there. I mean, that was amazing driving. Great way to start it. So at this time, I want to throw it down to my home girl joining us here on our qualifying seating brackets day. Lorette Nickel. Lorette, going up to Connor Shanahan. Lorette, down to you. What's going through 
I mean, this Irish boy, his Irish eyes are a smiling. Down to you, Lorette Nickel. And there were there were a lot of lessons I would imagine that happened tonight. Oh yeah, every time, every run is a lesson, and uh, we're taking we learn from mistakes. And I have made a few today, so <laughs> we're gonna learn from it and move forward tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll do better job. And do you know what you want to clean up for tomorrow? Uh, just overall, mostly transitions here, and just uh, stay with the with the lead car. My leads are decent, I would say. It's just the chases that I have to work on. Okay. Dimitri, thank you so much for Connor Shanahan, Adam Elzey, and Dimitri Brutsky. Tomorrow we will see them in the show. Jared. Thank you so much, Lorette Nickel. And, uh, and again, everybody tuning in, uh, obviously Shanahan over the moon. You can see the body language, Adam LZ and uh, Dimitri Brutsky. Um, Jacob, unanimous over here. I always double check. Yeah. I, have, I have announced incorrect winners before. Just, no, I'm not perfect, <laughs> contrary, contrary to popular belief. But, um, the justification there from the judges. Yeah, so speaking with the judges, uh, what it came down to is Connor's transition through the inner clips, um, just, just much better, did a, an amazing job, both in the lead and the chase through those transitions. And then Adam's lead, he actually had one tire off through the second outside zone. That's it, those <laughs> small things, that's the only reason, so super close. Who won? Everybody, everybody, everybody won tonight, hey. that's right. Everybody, what an amazing way to kick off round three of the Formula Gym Pro Championship. On behalf of Lorette Nickel, Jacob Gens, I'm Jared Vienna. Our judges, we got Vernon, Brian Egger, Robin Ishida, and of course, Chris Yule, Ryan Sain, our whole staff. Thank you so much. We'll see you online or we'll see you another time. Congrats to Connor Shanahan, the bragging rights, go to Ireland, and Adam LZ gets second, and Dimitri Brutsky in third. Let's find out who wins tomorrow here, round three of the Formula Jet Pro Championship, Orlando Speed World. Tune in tomorrow, 2.30 Eastern Standard Time, 7.